Good morning, guys. We are in Whistler. I don't know if you can see that. I'm headed to get some coffee. Um, I need to go buy some moisturizer because the one that I brought is empty. So um, I'll take you along. Let's get some coffee. <music> So we're in the village. Um, it's raining, so I'm not really prepared. I didn't bring a hat, so I may be looking like an apaca soon. <laughs> um, but it's quiet. And if you guys can see behind me, everybody must be on the mountain, but it's quiet. So I'm gonna run in and grab a moisturizer and then go back home. guys we're headed out we are or I'm going skiing for the first day they've already been out and about pretty much all week so the day is beautiful the Sun is out um, I've got my sunblock on and all types of protection for the skin <laughs> so um, let's go do it but I don't know what the rules are for YouTube, so we just won't do it. But <laughs> we had fun and I'm tired. We're gonna go head down for whatever next. And it was a good day. Hope you guys are all great, enjoying your Sunday. And I'll see you back at home. Hi guys. So I wanted to bookend the video because there was just like a lot of just cinematic kind of b-roll. It's, it's funny because when I'm in it, when I'm in my day, it's I don't remember to take out my camera because I'm in the moment. So I wish I could get in the rhythm more of like talking to the camera, you know, when I'm like just doing my stuff, but I'm not there yet <laughs> because I'm in the moment. So I don't know. I don't know what's it's good to be in the moment, right? We want to be in the moment, but I miss a lot of what's happening and what we get to do. So, so I hope this video is somewhat entertaining and you get to see how beautiful Whistler is. And um, I mean, every time it's time to go, like I don't want to go because, um, you know, it's like a little sanctuary. So I love it here and I miss it when I'm not here, but I look forward to coming back always so that's the good thing um, I did want to pop on and show you guys the products that I used before um, I got on the mountain so sun protection 
clearly is important for all of us all the time. Wearing SPF and um, having the right products on your skin is like really important, but especially when you go to the mountains because a lot of times it's cloudy, it's gray out right now, but the rays still come through and you know, you're higher up, you've got the cold to deal with, which wreaks havoc on your skin. So what you put on your skin is really, really, really important for protection. And at the same time, um, you'll see that I changed my, what I put on my skin skin in the morning just a little bit because I don't want to put anything on my skin that may cause irritation from like the natural elements. So what that means is, okay, so I washed my face and what I use, and I left it upstairs, but what I use to wash my face when I'm here is a milky cleanser because the thicker the cleanser, the more uh, moisture is going to stay on your skin. So I use the uh, Clarins Milk Cleanser. I'll link everything below so that you guys can at least take a look. Um, anytime it's dry and it's cold and I come to the mountains, I, I use a milky cleanser. I don't use like the regular um, like Clarifly Clarifly Clarifying Cleanser. It doesn't work. It makes my skin actually uh, dry and tight and we never want that to happen. So go for the milky cleanser. Once I'm done with that, I do do the toner, but this isn't a traditional toner. It's not stripping anything off of your skin. I'm not using um, a cotton ball to put it on. I put it on the palms of my hands and then warm it up just to you know, few seconds, and then I pat it on my skin. So that's gonna be your base, and you want to create like a barrier on your skin. You, The more padding that you can put on your skin against the elements, the better you're gonna be, the better your skin is gonna feel, and it's not, you don't have to then repair it when you come back. So I start with that. Then what I skipped was my vitamin C. So, you know, vitamin C is either a lactic acid or an ascorbic acid. So that's going to make your skin a little bit more sensitive. And when you're out in the sun or out in the wind or the cold, that can work against you. So you're trying, you use vitamin C to help protect you against hyperpigmentation or to eat up the hyperpigmentation, but it does make your skin sensitive to the sun. So I skipped that step and I went directly to, let me see what I have here. I went to an oil and this is Vinter's oil. It is the best oil ever. So, and I think I've talked about this before. This oil is made in a, I don't want to say factory because it's not a factory, but it's, it's made in a factory <laughs> that produces wines. So the way, the same way they treat their grapes for their wine is the same way that they press this oil. And I believe it comes from grapes. So it is the best oil. It is, it's, I don't want to say it's like a dry kind of oil because it's not, but the way it soaks into your skin, it's not a greasy oil. So I put about three drops in. Again, I place it in both palms and then I press on my skin. It is the best oil. And again, when it's cold and you've got the elements, it's creating that barrier against your skin so that the wind and the sun and the cold has to get through that in order for it to penetrate to your skin. So I skipped the vitamin C and I went straight to the oil. On top of the oil, then I put moisturizer. So this was the moisturizer that I brought up that is pretty much empty. I've been like squeezing every last drop out of it, but this is the cream. Um, I probably would bring up the rich cream instead of just the regular cream. The rich cream is thicker. What I bought at the store that you guys saw was just um, a Mario Badusco honey cream and um, moisturizer. So this is a little bit thicker. Again, I went thicker 
for what I was purchasing. So, and this is, this is a good little travel plastic bottle. So that's what I bought. I put that on and then I put on the UV and I actually did not use Chanel today. Um, the other one's upstairs in Mike's case. I used the Super Goop Play, which is for, um, for play. So for outdoor adventure, water, it's about an hour and a half waterproof. Um, so you have to reapply. Again, all SPF guys, you do have to reapply. It's not like a one and done kind of thing. I am totally guilty of just putting on, putting it on in the morning and then all day with that same application. Um, and I don't spend a whole lot of time in the sun, so I can kind of get away with it. But when you're doing um, like an outdoor adventure, you have to reapply just to make sure that you get the same SPF protection that you started with in the morning. So I ended with that. Um, I also put on some eye cream. And then what I put on top of the SPF was my tinted moisturizer SPF 15. So this adds, you know, just that little bit of color onto your skin, but you get the extra 15% SPF on top of, I think the Super Goop is 50 maybe. Um, so you just get that little bit more protection. And then that's it. I put a little bit of um, color on my cheek, which this is, this is Vincent Longo. I don't make this anymore. Um, a makeup artist turned me on to this. I bought a ton of them. It is a creamy blush that dries like a powder. It is the best formula and they don't make it anymore. I think either Vincent sold it or the company's defunct. I'm not sure, but you can't get this anymore and I love it. So I put this on um, and that's it. And then some mascara, which I usually don't even wear on the mountain, but I did yesterday. So, so my whole point to this is the protection that you need when you're out on the mountain is way more important than um, looking good or just not putting anything on. So the, the barrier of the skin is what I was most concerned about. I don't want the elements getting past all of the product that I had. So that's where the layering comes in. That's where the thicker products come in. And, um, you know, the cold weather as you're skiing down or the cold wind, you know, eats away at all the product. But I will be happy to say that at the end of the day, my skin was moisturized, it was not red or irritated, and when I washed my face at night, it didn't sting. I did not put any retinoid um, or any type of harsh product on my skin that night. I washed my face, I did the toner again, and then um, I layered the oil and the moisturizer one more time. That was my bedtime routine. And then I went to bed. And so then I wake up and my skin is as it should be, which is normal and healthy and happy. So that's the most important. Okay, you guys, I hope this helps. Uh, I've had a great time up here. I'm not ready to leave. We've got a couple more days. And, um, but my sister and my nephews are in town. So that is what I'm looking forward to. All right, you guys have a great Sunday. Um, leave me your comments. Let me know what you think. And, um, that's it. All right, you guys, I'll talk to you soon. Take it easy. Thanks for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed Whistler. Don't forget to hit subscribe for more and leave me your comments. We'll talk soon.